Hello, hello, Tatum here, and welcome back to day 17 of my 21 for 21 challenge. It's time for a fan favorite, a no repeats workout. Today's workout is 45 minutes long with strength, cardio, and abs. I always love the challenge of putting together non-repeating exercises. As a review and for practice, I chose exercises from this past week, beginning with last Sunday. There is one exercise that wasn't taken from the week. See if you can recognize it. If you do, comment and let me know. Good luck, grab your dumbbells, and let's get to it. All right, welcome back. It's day 17. We are going to power through very quickly. Not quickly, I take that back. We're doing 45 minutes today. 45 minutes, let's go ahead and march in place as I talk about this and the weight you need. I have a variety from 8, 10, 15, 20 to a 35 pound dumbbell. Again, that's 8, 10, 15, 20, 35. Just have a good range, a little bit lighter uh, for some like rear flies and shoulder presses and working yourself up um, for a slightly different uh, workout today on our squats and um, hang clean. So go ahead and march in place. I'm super excited to do this. This is a no repeat. I know that I get good feedback on no repeats. So I do one in this month. Next month I'll try to throw in a couple. I wasn't very good about that this time around. And what I typically like to do is go ahead and grab um, all the exercises from this week. So from Sunday to today, all the exercises, and I threw, I think just one different exercise in there. If you know what it is, put a comment on there. That could be really fun, all right? We don't have much time. Let's go ahead and late swing. Our first circuit that I have today is gonna be somewhat of a warm up for us as well. So we'll just do a couple quick things to loosen up and move. If you need more time, take it there, pause me, and get back to it. So this 45 minute workout was for a request I had for a weekend longer, which I like too, personally. So I bumped it up just a little, not much. And we're gonna move through lots of exercise today. Let's give it big circles. And again, this first one's just body weight. So we'll kind of get warm and into it before we pick up those weights anyways. So I took this warm up nice and quick. <laughs> All right, especially to keep it that 45 minutes. And we'll talk more about the uh, circuit here in just a second. Three, two, and one. We're gonna inchworm out and in, or walk out and back in. All right. And we're gonna actually come all the way to the top. Let's come all the way up and stand. Each um, exercise is going to be a minute for my first five in the circuit. There are 10 exercises in a circuit. I have four circuits for you today. Woo. But the abs, we're gonna go through we're halfway, everyone. We're about, we're gonna go through total body, strength, and then for the first five, and then our second five is going to uh, be abs. And you might've heard that in the introduction. <laughs> I never know what I'm gonna say in my intro. <laughs> Anyways, just a repeat, just to confirm. Keep working. But because we're not repeating, these exercises, I usually do take them a little longer minute. Here we go, we're going into a squat. Just a good old air squat down and up. I gave us 10 seconds in between. So let's go ahead and start moving now. Three, two, and one. Good, I want those feet, shoulder width apart, toes forward, knees right over those ankles. Nice and sturdy base. We're just squatting it out. Just take your time. All right, we have three more circuits. So we're gonna use this as a warm up, just body weight. Now, if you have lighter weights at home, you can use them. If for some reason, uh, some of the exercises we're doing, you just don't have weight for, um, go ahead and move through the motion. So if we're doing a squat or like a press overhead, you can push overhead using your arms and just get moving. All right, it's all right. Good. Woo. Oh, wake up. It's actually early for me, so <laughs> on this recording. <laughs> oh, I don't know, not feeling awake today. It's all right. We will be by the time we're done with this first second uh, circuit. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do plank ups. Again, those are the ones I said rank right there with burpees, but I love them. So let's come down to your forearms, maybe knees or toes. Let's push up with that right hand and bring that right hand back down. Up to high plank, 
down to low plank. Let's stay with the right. It's a lot to think about right, left, right, left. I have the halfway point marked here. We'll switch over in 30 seconds to that left. Now remember, this is gonna get tough for a minute. Simply find your knees and modify when you need to. Maybe you take a five second break and get back to it. This is gonna be kind of one of those halfway, left arm leads, left arm down, left arm up. Sometimes some of these exercises, we're gonna need that. We're just gonna get as many reps in as we can in that minute, doing the best that we can through pacing ourselves and keeping good form. Maybe five second rest in there. You can also take these 30 seconds total if you're just getting started. All right, that's rest. Boy, for not being awake, I'm really uh, talkative, huh? <laughs> we're gonna hinge over and we're gonna step back. We did this with the booty band this, we uh, this week. Here we go. I didn't wanna get the bands out because I just wanna keep us moving with these new no repeats, I love to just keep moving. So there's not gonna be too much rest in between what we're doing until we finish our 10 exercise circuit. All right, we're bent over, tapping back with that foot, really extend that leg, squeeze those glutes. Make sure you feel the butt working. Nice work. We're halfway. If you're feeling a little bit of pressure in that lower back, being bent over, make sure that you're engaging your abs. If not, stand up for just a second. Maybe you just step back, standing a little higher. That's it, 15 seconds. I just wanna feel my fingers, a little cold. A little cold today. <laughs> Good. Woo, tap it back. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, we did this one, I believe, this week too. Again, you're supposed to guess which one, I shouldn't say. I want you to guess which one we didn't do. All right, we're gonna do my favorite little square walk. Stay in low, taking a few steps forward, a few steps back to the side. Good, now, we added an element into this. If you want, with each corner, you can do a squat up onto your toes. All right, and add that in, Whew. and then back. So each time you come to your little corner in your square, Simply come to toes, up to toes. That's it. We're halfway. I'll try to mention that each time. I'll try to listen and remember so that if you're just getting started in a minute, it still feels too long, or maybe you've just showed up today to do a little bit of work. You're sore, you're tired, but you wanna move. 30 seconds will be fine. Oh, good. And up. Oh, a minute's good on these. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, we're down to a plank hold. Again, some of the abs here too are just getting us warmed up for what's coming. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go. We're in a plank, hips are level. If you're at your knees, we're not boxed up here. We're still level. Elbows under shoulders. Squeeze. That's it. Hold this. This is 30 seconds. The abs that I've put in today are 30 seconds each. So we'll hit four of those with a plyo on the fifth. All right, good. All right, so now we're gonna go. Oh, we're gonna stay down. Sorry, Superman, superhero, superwoman. <laughs> we're out here. We're gonna do a pull down and then release. Call me out if I do one of these that we didn't do this week. I really tried <laughs> to make sure that this was a large review of everything we've done today, uh, this week. From Sunday, now to Sunday. Squeeze and pull down. Really pull down with your lats there. Squeeze under the armpits. Think about sliding those shoulder blades down. All right, good. Donkey kick, we're gonna stay here again. We did this with the band. I'm gonna give all these away. You're gonna have an easy time. <laughs> Again, we're not putting the band on. Let's stay with one side. I want that foot flat. I want you to think about pushing it up toward the ceiling, okay? If we want, we could take a little pulse here instead of all the way down. And I think I'll do that without the band so I can feel, 
keep it kind of completely activated the entire time. So a little pulse, just halfway down, half, and then up. Again, keeping your body, your midsection very stable. All right, here we go, other side. Right here, pulse it up. Or you can go all the way through. That's it. Woo, you got it. Keep working, little pulse. Try not to throw your back into it and really move into it. You don't want to stay very stationary. Natural arch in that back. Three, two, and one rest. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go into a jump on this one. Actually, let's do our march. We'll be jumping later. All right, so we're gonna march. If you wanna march around, you can. This might seem easy, but trust me, we're gonna make it tougher with each circuit. Just using this as a warm up. I didn't really write much of a warm up. This is it here. Circuit one. And we've got weights coming up and we'll set up for that. Good, really lift those knees, move those arms. Lift, lift. Three, two, and one. All right, good job. All right, so just a minute here. Grab a sip of water. This is where we need to have our weights ready. All right. All right, so going on here, circuit two. Same thing, we're gonna have five exercises of strength with dumbbells or maybe body weight. We'll go into some abs and a little plyometric and, and then we'll kind of keep moving through that way. All right, so on this first one, we're gonna do a hang clean. I wanna go over this quickly because we did two dumbbells here. So I gave this one away. <laughs> we did two dumbbells. We're gonna do one because this is a minute and I really don't wanna overdo it. So just with one here, you're gonna bring it up, kind of shrug and come up and then just kind of catch the weight here. Don't throw it or anything, but just slide your hands under. Three, two, and one. So it's here underneath to squat. All right, to squat. And I'm gonna touch my weight down, but my hands really are just coming towards my knees, not much further. That's it. Good. Up, catch it in the squat. Power those hips up, drive them forward. You kind of come forward, you're shrugging, and then bringing that weight. This is a nice, it's kind of a modified version to the two dumbbell, just trying to get that movement of pulling and shrugging up. So, should be a little bit better uh, if you're just getting started with weights. We have 13 seconds. Good. That's it, five, three, two, and one. Good work. All right, no weight on this one if you're just getting started. These are T push-ups, or push-ups with a T rotation, if that makes more sense. So we're gonna come down to a push-up and then rotate, all right? You can do this without weight. Three, two, and one, let's go. Push-up, rotate. And you can even do this from your knees, and then you could rotate with one knee down, or take both up, push up, rotate onto that, okay? Pick one, you might just wanna work your push up today. We're already halfway. Push, all right, I'm not gonna talk about these exercises anymore <laughs> to see if someone will comment on which exercise. I'll try to say what they are so you know the name. Whew. Good. Three, two, and one. Remember, not a lot of rest here. We're doing alternating reverse lunge. Find some weight. Three, two, and one. Here we go, step it back and come together. 
right here for one minute. I have weight if you're just getting started again. I know for some of us, getting down and up, we're not quite there. If you find that you get down, you get a little stuck, don't go so far down yet. Just go halfway, work there, and you'll, and you'll end up getting there. Just barely tap down. Okie dokie, halfway. Now, here's a good thing, another modification. Maybe you started with weight for 30 seconds and you wanna go the minute, but it's too much to keep going with the weight. Put the weight down and go with body weight. There's a great modification to keep moving today. And like I said, with the no repeats, I really do try to keep us just moving the entire time, except for today, we're gonna have that break between circuits. Three, two, and one. Good, weights down, shoulder press. Find your weights for shoulder press. So what we'll do is pick a weight that you can strictly press. And I believe we did palms in. Let's go with palms in. Keep that one away too. <laughs> don't tell me secrets. I don't know how to keep one. Press, not intentionally, not to be bad and give it away. <laughs> oh, So this might get to add up. So strict press is just that. I'm not bouncing. I'm not doing any kind of jerk or any kind of dip to get there. I'm simply pressing, using my shoulders. We're halfway already. If your weight becomes too much, go to a single, so one arm gets some rest, and then the other, that's how you can modify there. Or maybe you have lighter weight that you can find. Sometimes I like to just stay here and work and go to singles if needed. Oh, goodness. Or the other thing I tend to do if I'm going long on this, and start to dip and do my push press to get there. Three, well we made it. Two, <laughs> and one. All right, kick back with uh, some weight. That's for our triceps, and we're gonna work our triceps. I don't know if we're gonna get biceps in. <laughs> right, kick back here. I'm gonna change it in 30 seconds, so just hang with me here. Kick it back. If you wanna stay with that kick back for a minute, you can, but it's, Going to be kind of tough, but doable. But I wanted to get another one in here. So we'll cut this in half. Really squeeze. Make sure those elbows in place, that they're high here. Don't let your arm uh, swing. That's halfway. So now I'm going to come down here to a high plank. You can do it from your knees. And you're just going to tuck those elbows in and push off. Just coming down maybe a quarter of the way, it's small, it's just a dip. Woo, that's it, into those triceps. Feel free to go to your knees and do the same thing. But those uh, hands should be under your shoulders and elbows tucked in. <sighs> Love this. Three, two, and one. All right, Jack and I, if we're down for a core, look at me, I'm keeping my space clean today. I don't know how long that'll last. All right, capital A is what my timer's saying. <laughs> We're gonna do a jackknife coming up and down here. Now remember, we need to be able to pull in and blow out, push down into the floor here with our abs. So think about pushing everything down against the floor instead of sticking it out. If you need to, if you feel an arch there because we're not engaging here enough, Ben, those knees, all right? All right, it's only 30 seconds. We're gonna do a marching crossover. So here, back and forth. Here we go. And I want you to think about pulling the shoulder across, not just the elbow. That way you get that back, part of that back up off, that one shoulder blade up off the floor. You get a little bit more rotation when you think about reaching the shoulder versus the elbow. Good, that's it. So march it up. Small movement. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right, we're gonna come to plank dips on your forearms here. And you're gonna dip your hips side to side. If that's too much, just go to a hold. Here we go, let's work. 30 seconds. Woo. 
That's it, side to side, it's 30 seconds. We have our first real plyometric coming up here, jumping. Tap, tap, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna come down, up overhead, down, all right? You can tap and stay low here. Here we go, 30 seconds. Try to stay as low as you can. Kind of touch those ankles, maybe touch the bottom of your soles of your shoes, the sides of them there. Woo! Look at me trying to work out and be all correct, whether it's the bottom of your shoes or the side. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna jog now. Building to this, we did our march, and then we're gonna work up jogging to sprint on each one. Here we go, let's jog. I put one, two, three, four, five for our exercises in my timer, and then A, B, C, D, E, and she's like, and they're capitalized. So the timer's saying, capital A, capital B. Which is <laughs> strange, because I haven't heard that. All right, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew. Rest. We're gonna take it in between each circuit. Nice work. So we did a pull push type series there between uh, lower body, upper body. Same thing here, kind of a, try to do that back and forth. So we'll have an, a lower body, upper body, lower, upper. Um, so we're gonna have a front squat here. We're gonna go into plank rows. We're gonna do, um, oh, a lateral lunge step that I love that we did. I almost got out the ball to slam, but I didn't bring that in, so not today. All right, we need that front squat. I want some good weight. Ooh, I'm gonna try it. We'll see. It's okay to try that weight. And if you find that it's too much for the minute, you know, go 30 seconds, go as far as you can, put the weight down, pick up lighter weight. Three, two, and one. Today, we're just gonna set this on our shoulders. Try to keep those elbows up as much as we can. We're gonna squat up and down for one minute. All right, so I'm just here. Sometimes you can take this and put them right here at your shoulders for a front. It's kind of nice. If, it, if the weight, see mine are a good height, they kind of sit at my head and I can hold them against my head so they don't hit me and keep those elbows nice and high. This is one way to do it. Here it is from the side. 30 seconds, you can also take it right here. <sighs> Depends, some weights are a little bit longer. It's a little bit harder to hold them up high. <sighs> 20 seconds. Good, drive through those elbows. When you come down, drive those elbows up. <sighs> Woo, that's it, 10 seconds. <sighs> Three, two, and one, rest. All right, plank rows. Now, if you're someone, it hurts to be up on the dumbbells, just come here. You're gonna row, and then use your other hand, pull in and row. You can even keep both in the center here and do the same thing, row, and then switch. We're working here. Go ahead, find your plank, spread those feet a little wide. This is really hard. The other option you have, is just to hold your plank here and work on pulling those hands off and up. Okay, if you're just getting started, that's right where you need to be. Don't worry about the weight today. Just use your hands. It's work. You're getting a good workout, don't worry about it. All right, we're halfway. Pull those weights back. Try to really stay stationary. Try not to rotate or move so much. You know, like, do this. Try to just stay. Square it off and pull each weight back. I'm kind of at an angle here. My hips are in line, hopefully. <laughs> they feel like they are. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, we have a row to rear fly. So a little bit lighter on this. I'm gonna say fives, eights, maybe tens. I'm gonna try 10, I may not last a minute on it. We'll see. 
Here we go, you're gonna row, release, and then do your rear fly. Row, release, rear fly. On that bend, in that fly, I want you to stay, you have a small bend, you can see it here, and it stays the same. I'm not gonna extend out and straighten my wings. I'm gonna keep that slight bend. Good. And I kind of think about pulling back with my elbows instead of my hands. So my arms are, uh, my hands are out wider than my elbows. I'm really thinking about pulling that upper arm back and out. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Good, we have 14 seconds to go here. You're doing great. You got it. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, next one is our knee up, knee down. I'm gonna use a little weight here, goblet style. Three, two, and one, here we go. Right knee down, left knee down, right knee up, left knee up, stay in that squat, come out of it to stand. Come down in that squat. We'll stay with the right knee leading, and then we'll go to the left here in 30. Now, this is a variation of what we did last time. So this doesn't count. This isn't our different one. I did a shoulder press with this this week, remember? And we had our weights out in front or on our shoulders. So, but this is a little different. We're halfway, so bring that left knee down, right knee down, left up, right up, stand. Good, down, left, right, left, right to stand. Again, a variation of something we did. I'm not gonna call this our different one if you're looking for the thing you don't remember doing this week. And you'll know if you showed up for all of them, hopefully. Maybe not, it could be a blur. <laughs> it's a blur for me. <laughs> Three, two, and one, rest. All right, Woo. four, here we go. Again, modifications I'll give you. Three, oh gosh, I missed one. I'm sorry. We have our lateral step lunge, grab some weight. Woo, I missed one in there for you. We're gonna step to the side, one of my favorites. Bring it together, step to the side, bring it together. Good thing I had those numbers in there, I'm like five, we've only done four. That's it. Step to the side, toes are forward. Good, come outside that knee. We're halfway already. I'm doing two steps. So instead of alternating or just working one side, we're stepping it out. Again, lateral lunge, there's a lot to think about here. This is another one that I say, just start body weight, get the movement, make sure that leg is straight, that you can sit down without collapsing forward all the way. Get the movement, get the form, then go for the weight. Three, two, and one. All right, now we're to the floor. My apologies. Here we go, there's a lot on this, <laughs> there's a lot in this one. All right, here we go. Lower your legs, come up, press those feet towards the ceiling. Now, again, don't go too far down. I want you to be able to pull in all the way. So you might come to a point where you feel like everything gives and you arch. I don't really want you to get to that, that big bridge, I call it, under the back. Push. Just watch it. Three, two, and one. All right. Next one is our elbow bicycle. So you're gonna come here and you're gonna push out. The lower you go, the harder it is. The higher you push, the better. So find something that works for you. Again, really engaging, pulling in, blowing out. Good. And we'll talk about that crinkle effect in the stomach and go over it again. 10 seconds, punch it out. Three, two, and one. All right, another one where we're out, feet are wide, we're in a star position, we're gonna crunch in. You can lay your feet down and arms if that's where you need to be and then pull in. All right, some of us can go out and not necessarily touch. If you really want to challenge, you can come all the way up into that V-sit. You just need to be careful. There's a lot of pressure on the lower back. 
when we're doing this, if we're not engaging the abs entirely. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, 10 second split jumps. Woo. So this looks like this, up and down. 30 seconds of work here. You can do just a little tap back here or a reverse lunge instead. All right, we're working. Good, that's it. 15 seconds. Building through. Eight. Keep it coming. You can stop in the middle if you want. Hop towards the center. Give yourself that little break. Three, two, and one. All right. Fast feet. So we did our jog. We did a march. We did a jog. Now we're going to go fast for 30 seconds. Three, two, and one. Kind of stop talking about the exercises so you can figure it out. Move those hands. Quick feet, quick feet. Knees stay low. Don't let them come too high so you can keep them fast. Woo, 15. Three, two, one. Woo. All right, good work. One minute's rest. We have one more round. It's gonna be 45 minutes, really? You're telling me that? It's going quick. Did I forget something? <laughs> really quick. Boy, I hardly can believe it, actually. All right, so this one. We got our strength over the way with our weights. Our first circuit was kind of that body weight warm up. Now we're going to getting that heart rate a little higher. Some of you are like, oh, my heart rate's so high. Just take this for what you can. We're gonna just try to hit. A minute on these, so I didn't take them super high. We're doing our knee taps with our heel, and I'm thinking about my friend Jenny. <laughs> it's something she posted in a texture share. It was hilarious. So I'm gonna be laughing and giggling through this one. We have 10 seconds. We have inchworm jacks, side lunge, touch. We're gonna move through some of this cardio that we did earlier this week as well. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Heel, heel, knee, knee. Heel, heel, knee, knee. <laughs> I will forever laugh at this one now. Oh, thank you, Jenny. All right. Good job. Again, this is a 45 minute workout. I don't know about you, but it just does not feel like it's, with the no repeats, right? Let me know what you think. I usually get good feedback on no repeats. We're halfway, keep moving. Now, because we're, we're already taking this low, right? We're not hopping, jumping. If you really need to take it down even more, just slow it down. Pace yourself. Knee, knee, heel, heel. Good. Three, two, and one. Next one. We're gonna walk it out. Last time we did a tap out, you can tap out with these. I'm gonna jump today, bring it up. We did a low jack, I gave this one away. Or you can do a high. All right, here we go, walk it out. In, or out, in, walk it up, jumping jack. You can take these low by tapping this out instead of jumping and bringing it up to a low jack. This is not your different one today either. It's just a different intensity. Same exercise, different intensity. I think I've given almost all these away. I hope you can find the one that we didn't do. <laughs> We're halfway. Again, pace yourself. I'm gonna step out a little quicker, get up and down a little bit faster. Good. Boom, good, five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. We are going into a side lunge. So a slide, I call it. We're sliding side to side. Right here. And we're gonna add that pull down. I love this one. 
You could also add a touch if you want or pull down. Good. And I'm coming up high, I'm gonna to try to slide low. Instead of up, if you want, you can come up and down. If that feels a little bit better, it's a minute. Or to make it a little tougher, you just slide over laterally. Stay low. Oh boy. For no jumping exercise, this one's great. We're already halfway. And then hopefully you love walkouts. Because <laughs> we have more of those coming up. Woo! Good, I feel myself wanting to come up and out. It's okay if that's where you are. I'm gonna continue to try to slide it over. A little tougher. Good, slide, slide. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, love that one. We're gonna inchworm out again or walk out. You're gonna walk it in or hop it in and you're gonna turn around, and you can just step around there. Here we go. Walk it out, in, give it a little jump turn. Make sure you go right and left on that. You get your right side jump turn and your left. So I'm gonna switch right. Now, if you don't wanna jump, you're gonna walk it in, turn it around, do it again. That's all you have to do. You don't have to jump. We're halfway, you're doing great. Woo, that's it. Pace yourself. If it's getting to be too much, the jumping walk out a little bit slower. It's still work, more time kind of in that walk out and plank on the core. You're still getting a lot from it. Woo. Three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna do squat jumps here. Jumping up and down, because we missed them in the first circuit. <laughs> Shame on me. And we're gonna do a squat to jump. Squat to jump. Now, again, if this is too much, we did this this week. Oh, another one I gave away. <laughs> Don't tell me secrets. You can do a squat, squat to toe. Squat, squat to toes, all right? Up to you. Full squat, a little hop. Full squat, hop, good, that's it. Alternate back and forth, that gives us that little break. If we were to jump a full minute, it would be tough. 30 seconds. You might start here with the jump. We're already halfway in, maybe it's becoming too much. I want you to be able to lay in light and soften those knees. If not, I want you to go to the toes instead of the jump. You need to be able to land with good control. You should be able to, for jumping, honestly, you really should be able to balance on one leg for 30 seconds before you start any jumping. So test that at home. <laughs> That's right, test yourself. Can you do that? All right, we're gonna go to a bulldog. We did this, gave it away again with a band. This is not it. We're gonna come down, knees just hovered above the floor, right here, and you're gonna walk to the side left and then to the right. Keep those knees close to the floor. Again, I gave it away already. We've done this one. This is with a band. Quit talking about these exercises. <laughs> I think I've narrowed it down for you. Let's go back and see which ones I didn't talk about. Oh, three, two, <laughs> and one rest. All right, let's go to our back. We have a boat pose crunch. So we did a star out here. This one's more together, arms and legs and then come here and pull in, and then out. All right, so we're straight instead of being out wide. And again, if, if you can, just put those legs down and then pull them in instead of hovering. And if you want more, again, we can come up high with this. Or even just pull in really tight here. Hug, five seconds, three, two, and one. All right, into a plank. I'm gonna go on my knuckles because my wrists don't like the bouncing. And we're gonna hop in this plank side to side. If that's too much, step side to side. Here, all right? Make it your own, modify, you do you, find your challenge, I haven't said that yet today, that's amazing. <laughs> there you go, you're welcome. Side to side. 
So I have a line here and I'm just trying to get over. If you have a water bottle or a dumbbell that you can put down, you can make sure you're getting over it. Three, two, and one. All right, burpees next. Sorry, it's only 30 seconds, so let's not go chest to ground. If you want to, you can. Ha! Up to you. So you can take it here. And remember, you don't have to jump. You can do a step out. Three, two, and one. I want you working with me. Or you can go all the way down and up, which maybe I'm gonna do for now. Feeling a little bit more, I don't know, more energy than I thought I would have. <laughs> so I'm gonna use it to my advantage today because I feel like I can do it. I did these this week. Did I give that one away too? <laughs> oh. oh, all right, last one, everybody. You've done well. We're sprinting. High knees. You can march and make it a fast march or hit if you don't want to run in place here with the sprints. Pick those knees up. Pump those arms. Lift, lift. Halfway. Last one today already. Whew. We're gonna stretch it out. Five, three, two, and one. Oh, great work. Grab a sip of water. Whew. Just four minutes of cool down to give us that 45 minute. That went fast. Oh, let's get that breath in check. Let's breathe in. And out. okay, I think I gave away enough of these. And some of you won't know. Maybe some of you that worked out with me or know some of these exercises of mine. You can call them what you want. You can describe them. You can take a screenshot of the one. Maybe you don't know the name. So you can take a, a screenshot. And uh, I don't know if you can do that on YouTube though and post a photo, you could join me on a TXT Online Fitness on Facebook and send it there and post it, but I would love to know. <laughs> oh, I don't mean to give away secrets. <laughs> I'm bad at surprises. All right, let's bring that left arm across the chest. Keep the shoulders down. Oh boy. <sighs> All right, other side. That was fun. I hope you enjoyed that one. Again, I, I really, when we do these, um, no repeats, you, you will always see me, unless the week was just really weird, just use all the stuff we use during the week, mostly, mostly. Maybe with a few additions, because it's a lot of exercises to create time, right? One of these days we're gonna work at a uh, minute 30 on these. Let's just go ahead now into downward dog and push those heels in. Push back into the shoulders and shoulder blades. If you want, wag your tail or sway side to side just a bit. Feels good in that lower leg, on those ankles. Good. Even on up into those hips a bit. Good, let's walk the dog. So I want you to come up on your toes on one foot, push back even more into the other heel, and then switch. Good, so yes, I do like to repeat the exercises. I think it's good, because we're moving quick for you to recognize them, see them again, go through them. Nice little review. Woo. Oh, that's it, let's come down to our knees. Let's come up, reach behind with your hands, stretch out that chest. If you need a towel, grab a towel here so you can grab a little wider if you can't interlace those fingers, which happens for a lot of us. You just need to practice. It comes with the territory when we're sitting at a desk. So now I want you to tuck those toes under. You have two options here. Uh, knuckles in the lower part of your back here. Stretching back with a back bend, or maybe coming back towards your heels. Oh, good. 
let's come down, knees wide, toes out, push back, lean back here. And I want you to come over towards where that right knee is, hands on top, I want you to feel that stretch in your lat, your left lat there is your over close to your right knee, left hand on top of right hand, really kind of stretching over to the side there. You also feel this in your legs, your hips and your adductors as you reach towards the other side. Now let's go to left knee, now right hand on left hand. Wow, did you hear that beep through the mic? <laughs> A little loud. Breathe, reach, do you feel that? Do you feel that stretch? Oh my goodness. Woo, some tightness there, at least for me. Let's walk it back to the center. This time I want you to spread, I know it's time, it's 45 minutes, but one more for me, just bring that chin to the floor. Maybe you bring your toes in. All right, that's it today. I won't keep you 45 minute workout, uh, no repeat. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow's a rest day, is that right? I believe so, we have a rest day. And so that makes it a Monday rest day, which is my favorite because you're getting into the work week and I don't know about you, I really try to be present at home <laughs> during the weekend as much as I can. So Monday's a good day to catch up. Uh, maybe it's also a good day for you to prep a little bit for the week and get things ready. You know, oatmeal jars, salads, different things. Make a bunch of rice on the side, you know, have some meat around. So those sort of things you can focus on. It could be laundry. I don't know, laundry's every day for us. So that's it, I won't keep you anymore. You go on with your day. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you back on Tuesday. Bye-bye.